Hey guys, my name is Max Otalzer from the Mind Medic Academy, and today I am joined with Dr. Becca Helen from the UK. And today we're going to be discussing: Are there any reasons why I should not use hypnosis? Stay tuned. All right, Dr. Becca Helen, we're here again, and we, we we've asked the question: Are there any reasons why I should not? try to use hypnosis. Is there any reason why hypnotherapy is not a good candidate and that I am not a good candidate for hypnotherapy? Absolutely. Um, although we like to believe that hypnotherapy is completely safe and completely fine, and in most cases, it actually is. However, there are some contraindications that hypnotherapists and also clients, potential clients, need to be aware of. The main one that springs to mind is if you have a diagnosis of psychosis. And if you have a diagnosis of psychosis, it means that the therapist, you wouldn't want to put the client at risk on and trigger an episode, a future episode. Another, um, in, another condition that springs to mind as well straight away is epilepsy. Uh, yeah, epilepsy, if you have um non the non-epileptic seizures then so long as you've got permission from your gp and you know that it's safe for you to to have therapy then there should be no reason why you can't um anorexia is another one now there are instances where therapists can work with anorexic clients however you wouldn't unless you were a really experienced therapist in that arena you wouldn't work well i wouldn't choose to work with a with a client on my own i would be wanting to work with some um, an experienced therapist who is also part of a wider medical team yeah absolutely uh and i very very similarly i do also operate with the idea of contraindications I will ask my my clients immediately, have you ever been diagnosed with bipolar disorder? Have you ever been diagnosed with schizophrenia? And another one was that psychosis that you had already mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know because I need to know if I'm going to be working with another psych team. And beyond that, just like Dr. Becca Helen had said, is we do want to make sure that there's nothing physically, medically wrong. So go consult with your GP, your, your general physician, if you don't know what that means. Talk to a medical team, make sure that this is that you are a good candidate for this. The benefits of hypnosis are amazing. I mean, they there is like I have seen stuff that has been borderline miraculous while working with people. But the reality is that this is not for everybody. And so we do want to also encourage you, go talk to your general physician, go talk to your medical doctor, talk to your psych team, make sure that you are that this is something that you can work with. Thank you so much. We're glad that you have been able to be with us again. Uh, for all of you at home, thanks for watching this video. Wishing you a metric ton of happiness. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Today, we're going to be dealing with the question of... Uh, holy crap, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Is it nasty? Is hypnosis safe? You see, I've been under so much hypnosis, my brain is fried. <laughs>